Hey, good morning, happy people. I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I am on a bucket list dream trip down here in Mag Bay, Magdalena Bay. We're about 150 miles from the southern tip of Cabo. Tons of tourists go there. It's good fishing there. 150 miles north is like the epicenter of striped marlin fishing. I got a call from Toby, the owner of Mag Bay Lodge, about a month and a half ago. He said, I'd love to have you guys come down, fish, see what we have to offer. That was like a no-brainer. That was like getting a call saying you won the lottery. What I didn't know is he also makes these lures. They're called Mag Bay Lures. They're specifically made for the fishing here. So you have two ways to fish. You can either fish with live bait or you can troll for these fish. There's huge pods of sardines and mackerel out there, which attracts sea lions, tuna, striped marlin, dorado, all types of predators. You can either go up there and throw a live bait to them or troll by. We're gonna do both today. I have no idea what we're gonna find or what we're gonna do, but I guarantee you it's gonna happen out there and you're riding shotgun. All right, you guys, Austin has the drone up in the air. This fella right here, como se llama, Sion? Jamon. Jamon? You're famous. You're gonna be even more famous now to everybody in YouTube. Joker's been up all night long catching bait. They call it carnada vivo, live bait. We could have came here this morning and caught some bait, but you know what? I believe in, in supporting the locals. This is a fishing community. We've been at the Mag Bay Lodge over in San Carlo. But me and Gabe were like, no way, man. We need to come to this fishing village. So tonight, we're not going back to the lodge. We're coming right here to the village called Magdalena. This is what I dream of doing, being around new people, seeing new things, and catching fish. Yes, sir. -y. I hope we catch something. At least we got a couple baits. We've already caught some mackerel, so that's that's the good news. But I'm thinking we're gonna catch something. I don't know what, but something. Dude, on a level of one to 10, I'm jacked up. Magdalena Bay, Mag Bay, this is the epicenter of striped marlin fishing worldwide. And we are in it. And you are riding shotgun. So we're out here fishing. We've got four teasers and two lures. A lure is basically just a teaser with a hook in it, and a teaser is just a lure without a hook. If a fish comes up and eats one of the teasers, then we're gonna switch over and we're gonna pitch him a bait. That's one of those mackerels with a circle hook in the front of it and a little chugger head. When you come on a trip like this, you gotta bring two things for sure. One is good sunglasses. These are called ocean eyes. You may have never heard of them in your life, but check them out. They're really good shades. Um, they've been known for like that $40 to $80 price range for a long time using polycarbonate lenses, but they just started making these which have glass lenses. They cost about $160, and I guarantee you they're as good as any glass on the market. And I know the owner, Skip, which is a really good guy. He's next door neighbors with my brother, Aubrey. So, check out ocean eyes. Next, sunscreen. You don't want to come out here in harsh sun and get sunburned. It's going to really ruin your trip. And your wife will yell at you. No good. I would suggest 50 to 100 SPF. Once you get lathered up, all ready to go. Trust your captain and crew. These guys fish out here every single day. They want you to catch fish more than you want to catch fish. So, let the good times roll, y'all. Get 
fit. Obviously, I pick up the smallest rod possible. Super light leader. I was just seeing if there was, oh, nice mice. Running along and there's a dead sea turtle, probably got hit by a freighter. And uh, pitched out a live bait, next thing you know, Calabunga, got him on. Nice. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Unfortunately, we found a dead sea turtle. Fortunately, we got us a nice, beautiful Mai Mai off of it. Let's try it. All right, y'all. Just dropped this bait. Oh, look at this big fish right here. I just saw color. Yeah, I got a marlin right here. <laughs> and I've got, of course, I've got him on 50 pound leader. So Gabe's out there. <laughs> Gabe's out there spear fishing with Kelly, and I just like was like, eh, whatever. I'll throw a live bait out. Threw a live bait out. Come tight. That's the great thing about fishing down here. You're never out of the game. You've always got a chance. There he is. What an awesome day, man. Dead boating with a live bait. We've been trolling all over, haven't had a bite yet. Just chunk a bait in the water. But again, I'm using such light leader, I'm like, it'd be such a miracle if we get him caught. Here he goes, he's gonna come up and jump. That's what you live for. That's what you that's what you dream about as a child. Right on the surface out there. So the fish is right up on the surface going away from us. I'm using 50 pound leader and I don't want him to chafe me off. So there you go. A lot of times if you use the boat, you can catch the fish much quicker, cause the fish much less harm and you get to see them. That's what they look like when they're up tailing. You'll see that dorsal and then the tail, just like that. Look at that, beautiful fish. Would you, would you say that's just an average size stripey here? Small one? Awesome, man. Here he comes. Vicious. Really upset right now. <laughs> what happened, Gabe? <laughs> there we go. Beautiful fish. Hold on, let me just stop. I mean, we've been fighting him for 15 minutes, now he wants to jump. He's just, he's just like found this new gear. <laughs> I'm even thumbing it. He's like, let me out of here. So 
What's amazing to me is this fish just literally looked like he was totally whooped. Next thing you know, pow, pow, pow. Here he comes, he's gonna come and jump right next to Gabe. <laughs> Come here, boy! Come here! This is the one, huh? Alright, so they just told me that this fish is pretty much dead. So, the locals here have this special way of smoking them, and Captain wants to take him home with us, so... I believe we're gonna take this one back and smoke them with the locals. The communities that we're a part of here, these are fishing villages, these are fishing communities. They live and sustain on fish. Woo! The water feels great. You don't even wetsuit in this. Hey, you guys, me, Gabe, and Aubrey, and my family, man, we've, We've just had so much fun over the years living this outdoor life, having the opportunity to start a YouTube channel and to show these stories and to meet new people. That's what it's all about. Come on, Junior, let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Hey, this is a new bro. This is Toby. He owns the Mag Bay Lodge. We got Captain over there. We got their beautiful pro cat. Kelly, what you doing, girl? Alright you guys, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the house, we're going to fillet it up, and from what the captain says, it's a three day process, and it's a huge part of their culture, eating smoked marlin. Whew. That's what Mag Bay is known for, and they take such good care of these fish. They may catch a thousand and keep, and keep one. This just so happens to be the one. And I feel honored to be able to go back to their village and eat this with them. All right, you guys, we're gonna throw them on ice and we'll see you at the shore. So we just got back to the lodge here in San Carlo. Yeah, check it out. They got all, look at all this smoked marlin. So much of it. And you know what's good about this? All the locals are gonna get, it, get to eat it. All the guys that work here are gonna get to eat it. And we're, this is all I'm taking with me. The rest are, is going to the locals, is going to the guys that work here. And uh, we're heading to a place called Las Brisas now. It's about three hours that way. And we'll eat it there. Look at this. I wonder how they got the red. I don't know, but it looks moist. For three days. Take that. Look at that color. Dude, that would be, that would be so good in, a, in like a uh, jalapenos, cream cheese. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for taking the time to film cutting the marlin. Thank you to all the guys that cooked the marlin. This is absolutely amazing. I hope everyone has enjoyed this. What I can promise you is, we've got so much more coming your way. You want to come here with Toby, I promise. Mm. That's all I got for you. Stay tuned, there's much more, but we are gone.